Welcome to T3. We are excited. Um, this is our inaugural conference, and it is the first of many. You all have led from the front. You all have spent countless hours. It has absolutely have been a we thing. But if you open avenues where people can move with speed, like the labs, as an example, or a leapfrogging stack, I feel that we can actually make a humongous impact on the mission to lead in lifetime income, delight our clients, and, and strengthen how we operate. We always overestimate the change that will occur in the next two years and underestimate the change that's going to happen in the next 10 years. All of our dealers, just like you have uh, on your TV at home where you have apps, all of our dealers are, are working hard right now to build direct streaming uh, of, of point and click prices. Everything is going to this sort of fully automated pathway to the execution. So it's really that pathway to the execution data, EMS, and then our partners on the other side that, that we can go to electronically. It is the ability that we have in this organization to serve clients in a new and different way, giving them not just great experiences, but the power that this organization has is to give them insights in a new and different way. We are taking on a commitment mm to having a customer first approach. And when you take that commitment, what it means is that you don't just do it when it's convenient, but when you, when you have to make hard decisions, and sometimes even in terms of speed, sometimes in terms of resources, sometimes in terms of prioritization, you still maintain that focus. And it comes from tops down. And I think of leadership is frankly doing a fantastic job at that. I will tell you that we have seen that the financial world has um, already shifted. And I can tell you in my 30, <clears throat> whatever, <laughs> um, years of being in financial services, and I spent most of my career actually in um, a financial services organization, I have never seen this industry move at the pace in which it's moving today. Generative AI has moved forward particularly in natural language, are timelines on capability. Mm -hmm. And a large number of the activities we pay people to do in the global economy actually require natural language. So what that means is speeded up um, the potential to affect different parts of activities. In this particular uh, point in time with generative AI and just the explosion of data has been really fun and the opportunity to see what a variety of different customers and opportunities we see in the marketplace today has been really exciting for me. Quite proud of what really IBM has achieved over the last you know, five, 10 years, it's what is called the IBM Quantum Network. And I have to highlight that here because that's, I think, really very unique. There's over 200, 250 of the organizations from government uh, academia across all industries really represented, trying to push together really the advances of the technology. I'm here to talk about transformation, innovation, and how to drive business adoption. What I like about a skills-based organizational approach to talent management is it's considering you as a whole person. It's everything that you've accumulated, all the skills you have that you've gained throughout your entire career. And share with us what drove you or inspired you for the path that you're on to move into technology as a career. Seeing operations folks having the opportunity to make their life instantaneous with technology I built. I got jazzed off of it um, and it kept me in role. And then, you know, fast forward to what I do now, I realized that I wanted the CIO job <laughs> and I wanted to do consulting so that I could translate business impact of IT.
Today I learned about ICON and I learned about OSS, about onboarding our clients and all the logistics that go behind it and how our teams are streamlining the process so that our clients have a seamless, delightful experience. So far today I've enjoyed learning about the new innovations uh, and the advancement of AI within TIAA. Uh, I just got a brief demo on Mr. Carnegie and I'm looking forward to learning more about it and uh, getting to experience it on my own. This has been an incredible experience. You're here in the TFverse, and we've had the opportunity to just go through a this a virtual simulation where I was able to see how my decisions impact my future. I can't wait to see this go live and impact our participants and our clients and let them see what we're really doing here at TI. It's incredible. I just saw the TFverse and uh, went through a few options. It's really awesome, very lifelike, and I think there are some really good practical uh, use cases that we can solve for by using this technology. T3Con has provided a lot of information about how we can be more innovative as an organization. T3Con was amazing. We were able to engage, get exposure on the latest technology, on the latest thought process about evolving um, in technology. Uh, T3Con has been brilliant. It was great to meet lots of colleagues who I had met remotely. Uh, get to understand and learn more about everything that everybody's working on, the emerging technologies, the ability to scale, and I look forward to many more T3Cons in the future.